I realized I kind of abandoned the devlog videos on YouTube uh, a few months ago. But that doesn't mean I stopped working on my game. So this will be a sort of up to speed video on the progress of Above the Fold, but also our sort of end cap to the devlog video series, because obviously I'm not doing a good job of updating those. Um, I'm putting the updates elsewhere, and I'll cover that in a bit. Um, but first, let's talk about where the game is right now, and what you might see in the game now that wasn't there in Devlog 17. This is the 18th Devlog episode, and the first one where I'm showing my face. Not that that's really new, because other videos. Anyway, main changes... Uh, there's been so much. We're on Alpha 9 now, and I think the last video was Alpha 5. You can have three active games now, instead of just one. Um, there's music, there's ambient noise, there's sound effects. Uh, the characters have graphics now. You have sample letters that you can read every day, and depending on how angry your readers are, there'll be more profanities and threats and such like in, in those sample letters. There's also particle effects on the map. There's several UI changes and updates. Um, buttons that have been changed. A lot of things have happened in, in Above the Fold since Alpha 5 and continues to roll out. Alpha 10 is planned to be the last Alpha. After that, it will move into the beta phase, uh, which will mostly be about fleshing out the game, uh, balancing the game, focusing on the more cosmetic things and quality of life sort of stuff. Uh, if you want to follow the um, development of the game on a sort of more regular basis than every few months, uh, you should check out uh, my social channels. Uh, there's, of course, links below. But if you're not on social media, uh, all you need to do really is go on Steam. And every patch I put out, I put an update, sort of a recap, uh, on Steam. On Instagram, you'll also find weekly game tips. So once a week, I've started posting a one-minute video on my Instagram. The first tip went up this week. So if you head over to my Instagram now, you can find it not too far down in my feed. And it talks about hiring reporters when you first start out the game. That's a very important part of the game. So uh, check that out if you're so inclined. Again, Steam is the place to go for patch update notes and such. Actually, there's also the forums on Steam. There's questions answered there. Uh, it's also a good place for you to leave feedback. I think that pretty much rounds it up uh, where we are now. It's a bit of a ramble, but such is life. I do want to take a second to just thank all the people that have sent feedback. Um, doesn't matter where you did it, whether it was through the website, through Steam, even a direct message on Twitter, whatever, doesn't matter. A lot of you have sent everything from bug reports to feature requests to sort of realism checks, um, naming elements that you'd like to see in the game. No detail is too small, no feature is too big. Uh, obviously, I can't um, accommodate every request, uh, things that sort of go against the overall structure of the game and my own vision. I probably won't, uh, but I do try to to take as much into consideration as I can, because ultimately I do want to make a game that you want to play. So that does it for the 18th and for now final video devlog for Above the Fold. I hope you'll stay in touch and keep following the game, or better yet, go get it on Steam. It's available right now in early access, and the price is going to increase as we get closer to launch. So there's that.